You probably have a good idea of what maximum and minimum values are. A maximum value of a set is simply the largest element of the set, as long as we're having an ordered set, and the minimum is the smallest element of the set, provided that there are such things. It could be important for us when we have a set A, a set of real numbers, which is bounded above, but the supremum is in A. In other words, the least upper bound of a set A is an element of A, well then the supremum is in fact the maximum. And this definition works equally well in a vice versa sense for minimums. If a set of real numbers, which is bounded below, contains the infimum, well that would be the minimum of the set. So just a quick, a very quick example here to remind you what max and mins look like. Let's just take some, some set I don't even know, some set of real numbers, throw in pi there, an e, all very good numbers, one, zero, maybe root two. And of course, I'll just use the same set here. Now this is just a very discrete set, a finite set, but the maximum here, the largest number I spy is pi, 3.14, and in fact, this is also the supremum here. Let's look at the minimum, I think zero here. Just pick out the smallest element for min, the largest element for max, it just has to be in the set, and those happen to be the supremum and infimum in this case. Now click the link on the screen to watch the next video in the Real Analysis course.